हाई एवरी वन दिस इज शिवानी हेयर वेलकम टू माई चैनल शिवानी क्रिएशंस सो टूडे आई एम शोइंग यू नाइन डिफरेंट क्यूट एम्बेलिशमेंट्स टू डेकोरेट योर कार्ड स्क्रैप बुक्स बॉक्सेस यूजिंग मिनी ऑनवल पंच बोर्ड बाय वी आर मेमोरी कीपर्स सो दिस इज माई क्यूट ऑनवल पंच बोर्ड एंड दिस इज वेरी वेरी क्यूट एंड वेरी प्रिटी एंड दिस इज वेरी हैंडी एज वेल सो Without any further delay, let's start with all the embellishments. So this is the punch board which is by Via Memory Keepers, and this is called Mini Envelope Punch Board. So quickly, I am just opening the package. and this is my cute tiny mini envelope on which all the measurements are given in inches and also in centimeters and you will get the bone folder this is also very tiny this is having the approximate height of my finger very cute and the measurements are given on the board are in inches but you are not comfortable in inches and you are comfortable in centimeters so along with the board you will get this booklet on which all the measurements are given in centimeters so you just need to match the inches in centimeters and you can do your different sizes of envelopes so using this you can create 16 different sizes of envelopes okay so one by one i'm starting with my embellishments so my first embellishment is this cute baby card for this i'm taking this 4 and 1/8 by 4 and 1/8 inches sheet which is given here and we have to score it at 2 inches so just align the first line of your card to the 2 inches here okay now just score it diagonally the groove in the bottom is given so you have to follow the line and just punch it now can you see this code line you have to align the score line with this notch again score diagonally and punch and repeat this process on the remaining sides so this is done now just fold it from all the sides and your envelope is ready you can just reverse the paper and use it like this now i am just sticking my envelope first here i have distressed the edges of the envelope from outer side using pink distress ink and also created some texture using my scoring board and now after adding little glue my envelope is ready now taking the card base which is 7 by 3.5 inches i have just folded in half and now diagonally i am sticking the envelope and before that i am just adding this beautiful border design and sticking the envelope i will decorate the envelope using some element sheets by little birdie like this now to create the envelope for our card i am taking the last measurement for this i am taking 6 and 1/4 by 6 and 1/4 card stock and we need to align it with 3 and 1/8 inches here score and punch and repeat on all four sides
if you want a curved corner you can just chop off it from the back side of the punch and you will get the curved corner like this now i'm just adding little glue and constructing the envelope and it is ready Now I have decorated some more element sheet on the envelope as well and this is done. You can just put your card inside the envelope and the cute tiny mini baby card is ready. Very easy to make. Now I'm proceeding to the second embellishment that is these cute bows. So they are super pretty and very easy to make. I have created in different different colors. So for this, I am taking this six by three four inches strip of pattern paper, and I am aligning it to one four inches here. Then just punch it, flip your pattern paper again, align with one four inches, and punch it. Similarly, repeat on other side, align it with one four inch, punch. flip it align with 1/4 inch and punch okay now you have to align it with 3 inches and again punch on both the sides and that's it it's done okay now you just need to fold and curve the center part little bit using scissors and then i'm just pinching from both the sides like this and your bow is ready super easy now i'm just taking this small strip of blue color and adhering in the center of the bow to gather it together and this is done now can you see on the other bows i have the v shape ending and in this bow i have flat ending so i am showing you how to do this so again i am taking the same size strip of pattern paper doing the same process again and for the bottom v you just need to insert your strip in the center just eyeball it and punch it so you will get this kind of ending again i'm repeating on other side and this is done now i'm just constructing my bow quickly and this is ready so in this way you can create lots of bows in different different color combinations now i'm starting with this beautiful flower embellishment this is super easy to make and you can decorate your scrapbooks or mixed media layouts using this embellishment for this i'm taking this 3 by 3/4 inch strip and just eyeball it in the center punch and do this with other side and that's it in the same way i have prepared some more strip using different pattern papers and now you just need to connect these strips with each other in a flower pattern Now I'm just decorating it in the center using some handmade flower leaves and punch butterfly. And the flower embellishment is ready. Now I'm starting with the jar pocket with jar page for this i am taking this pattern paper which measures 6 by 3 inches and then i am aligning it on 2 cm marking 
which is given on the first slot just punch it and repeat the same on other side so flip your pattern paper align it with 2 cm and punch okay now I am aligning it to 3 inches and again punching on both the sides then on other side also I am aligning it with 2 cm and punching it now fold this in half and you will get the jar pocket ready very easy now just adding little glue to construct the pocket and then you can just add any paper or page inside this you can curve the corners of the page from back side of the punch and then you can just insert it inside the pocket now I am showing you one more way of making the pocket so again I am taking this 6 by 3 inches pattern paper aligning it with 2 cm from both the sides just punch it then randomly folding the strip like this open this and the center line you have to align in the center so again eyeball it and punch it and it's done your jar pocket is ready now I'm taking this 3 by 2 and 3 4 inches pattern paper just align it with the notch from both the sides and your insert for jar pocket is ready which is also having the same jar shape like this so now I'm just adding little glue and making my pocket and then inserting the jar flap inside this now I'm just decorating it with pattern paper and some embellishments So the cute jar pocket with inserts is ready very easy to make you can use these pockets to decorate the scrapbooks or cards now starting with these cute flag embellishments you can also use this as a cake topper it's very easy to make so for this I am taking this pattern paper strip which measures 3 by 3 4 inches just eyeball it in the center and punch it from both the sides fold it from center again I am taking one more strip which is 6 by 3 4 inches just fold it from center and I am just chopping it out little bit because I don't want that big flags and again punching from both the sides and it's done now I am taking this toothpick add little glue inside these strips and connect with the toothpick Similarly, I am adding the another one. And then I am just decorating it with this cute punched bird and hey there sentiment. 
and the cute cake topper come flag is ready now i'm starting with the fan embellishment it's very easy to make and it's looking very gorgeous as well so for this i'm taking this pattern paper which measures 6 by 2.5 inches so first you have to align this with the notch line and using the bone folder you have to make the crease like this now just slide your pattern paper towards the right little bit and score it again slide it and score it and try to keep the same distance between each scoring line and this is done now you just need to fold this strip in zigzag manner add little glue between these folds from both the sides and stick it like this hold it for some time and the fan is ready now I'm just decorating the fan using some fussy cut elements by little birdie they have so many varieties in element sheets and I have given link for all the element sheets in description box you can check there so the cute fan embellishment is ready in the same way I have created two more small fans now starting with this rosette embellishment so I have already prepared this using 12 by 2 inches yellow color paper I have just done the same thing just we did for the fan embellishment and I have just folded it like a zigzag manner now I am sticking front and back side like this and you just need to fold it like a flower shape then adding one circle on top of this to secure it and this is done in the same way I have added one more circle from back side now I am just decorating it with some flower and leaf cutouts And this is done now I'm starting with the banner embellishments so I have prepared this cute banner smile and I'm showing you one more so for this I'm taking this pattern paper strip which measures 2.5 by 3 4 inches again you have to eyeball it in the center and cut from both the sides so just insert it in the center and punch it then just fold it in half and I'm adding the M alphabet on this so I'm just cutting this sheet as well to give a banner look and sticking on top of this in the same way I have prepared total 5 and the word is called dream now I'm taking one thread and sticking these words or banners one by one by mistake I have added here M before A but you should do the correct spelling dream and then I have just decorated it with small bow design so this is done 
Now I'm starting with the box envelope. This is the last embellishment. You can keep chocolates, you can gift any jewelry, anything inside these cute tiny mini envelope boxes and this is very easy to make, trust me. So for this I'm taking this 6 by 6 inches cardstock and I'm just aligning it with 2 and 1 fourth inches. Then just punch it, score it like this. Then slide it on left side and align it with 2 and 3 fourth inch. Again punch and score and then follow the previous scored lines, punch and score and repeat this on all remaining sides. So you will get this type of sheet. I am folding all the creases first. Then I am just chopping this square from one side and from another side you just need to cut the square like this. Fold it inside and your box envelope is ready. Just add little glue and construct your box. Now I am adding the piece of velcro dots so that we can close or open the box envelope very easily and it's done. Now I am decorating the closure using some fussy cut out elements and adding the sentiment hay there. So this is done in the same way I have prepared one more. So all nine cute cute embellishments are ready which are made using this tiny mini mini envelope punch board. So this is available in Itsy Bitsy store and I have given link in description box and don't forget to use the coupon code Shivani5611 to get the 5% discount. So that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed my video. Please subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.